Hey everybody, Adam here with Hometown Acres. Welcome back. Today we've got some new chainsaws to play with here in the wood yard. And it's actually kind of a funny story how these got here. And no, they are not provided from corporate Husqvarna. Actually, a guy that I used to play volleyball against in high school, who I haven't talked to in probably 10 years, sent me an email the other day and said he is now actually a sales manager for Husqvarna. And he runs these things around and has them as demo models and he lives in the area. And he said, hey, I've got three saws here. You wanna play with them for 30 days. And I like trying new stuff. I have never run either one of these three saws. And I said, yeah, why not? So we have a Husqvarna 562 XP, a Husqvarna 572 XP, and a Husqvarna 585. Um, if you guys remember, I used to have a Husqvarna Rancher 455, which is basically, you know, your entry level firewood farm and ranch saw a little bit above a homeowner saw but not quite a professional grade saw all three of these are professional grade saws um, and then i also used to have a holzforma g372 xp which is a knockoff version of the husqvarna 372 xp i have not run any of the husqvarna 5 series saws yet so that's kind of why i agreed to take them and try them out um, you know if i decide to buy a different saw this will give me a good idea of if I like any of these, if I don't like them, which one do I want to get? So anyway, I'm hoping to bring you guys along while I learn about these saws a little bit. Now, just because we've got three Husqvarna saws here to try out on the channel does not mean I'm going to shy away from throwing the steel in the video as well. I want to do a head-to-head -head comparison with those three saws versus the steel MS400 that we bought uh, probably a little over a year ago now and really kind of see how they stack up.
that's a smooth running saw right there. could bog this thing down I'm gonna try hammer it into the wood and see if I can get it to bog down at all fun saw to run I don't know how practical it is just for firewood I mean you could put a 36 inch bar on this thing and cut some big redwood trees out west but uh, it sure is fun to run for a firewood saw yeah this was the 585 a little big and heavy for just bucking firewood but it sure is fun all right so far really impressed the uh, 562 is a 60 cc saw and I was prepared to say it's nice for a 60cc saw, which is a little bit on the smaller end for a Pro Series saw. But honestly, it's nice for a bigger saw. Uh, I thought it ran really well and cut really well. Um, the next one was the 572, which is a 71cc saw. And this is the Steel MS400. This is kind of in between. It's a 67cc saw. So right in there between the 562 and the 572. Um, both of the 562 and the 572 um, had 20 inch bar and chain on them. The 585 had a 24 inch bar and chain on it. Normally I run a 24, which is what's on the steel MS 400 right now. We're going to go ahead and swap that out for a 20 inch bar just so we can compare apples to apples here. Now, I know I originally said that we were going to do cookies first, you know, time trials, and then, you know, cut five, 10 minutes with, with each saw. But all of those Husqvarna saws, including the steel, all have some kind of chip in them that regulates the carburetor. They call it the auto-tune. And uh, my buddy who dropped off the Husqvarna saws, he says those saws haven't been run since August. So he said, warm them up a little bit. He said the the computer in them should adjust within 45 to 60 seconds so I probably didn't need to run a whole log through them to get them to adjust to you know March temperatures and humidity and everything but uh, I figured that way we're all even and we can't make any excuses that oh they were they were tuned for August weather not March weather all three of the Husqvarna saws also had a brand new chain on them so we just put a brand new chain on this steel as well Again, I want to make this as fair a comparison as possible. OK, 
Okay, I think we're good. Go ahead and make sure we got a full tank of fuel and bar oil in this. We'll even use the same fuel we've been using in all of them as well, which is the uh, Husqvarna Premix here. You think this steel will blow up because we put Husqvarna fuel in it? All right guys, so far the only species that we have cut was beech, so there's no variation in the species of wood, so we can't use that as a limiting factor on one saw versus the other. The only difference really so far has been the diameter, and we kind of picked the smaller diameter logs for the smaller saws and the bigger diameter logs for the bigger saws. But I'll tell you what, my opinion right now is Husqvarna is kind of running away with it. Uh, so I sent Doug home to go get his Steel MS-462, one of Steel's more powerful saws. See if we can level up the score here for steel.
Yeah, and your rakers are a little uh, aggressive, I'd say. Yep, yep. Yeah, that uh, steel two-in-one, not sure that I'm a big fan of it yet, because every time I've used it, it always takes my rakers down too far. Yeah, it's, it's biting pretty hard. Yep. All right, so we've got our test log here to cut cookies on and do our time trials. We have cut one full log with all five of those saws. Our test log here is about 18 inches that way about 18 inches that way and here across the middle is about 16 inches so the way we're going to do this is i've got all the saws lined up here from smallest to biggest the husqvarna 562 the steel ms 400 the husky 572 the steel 462 and then the uh, husqvarna 585 so that is the order smallest to largest let's go ahead and see how they compare <laughs> I'm gonna have to go review the tape. I don't know, I think it's gonna be a photo finish. All right guys, there are all the saws from slowest to fastest left to right. The steel MS400 came in at about 12.68 seconds on average. The Husqvarna 562 XP came in at 10.84 seconds on average. The 572 came in at 8.94 seconds on average. And the 585 blew the competition away at 7.1 seconds. As you'll notice, you don't see the MS-462 here. 
That's because Doug didn't have a good chain on his saw. I mean, it was cutting well, uh, but the rakers were taken down just a little bit. So it was chattering through the wood and bouncing around a little bit. So I didn't want to include that here, but you guys got to see it cut. You got to hear it, see what it sounded like. And also Doug does have an aftermarket exhaust on his saw as well. All four of these saws here are stock. So um, just want to throw that in there for fun so you could see what that sounded like. Now, I don't really care about displacement, horsepower, engine size, bore stroke, none of that technical specifications on any of these saws. The only two things I care about is how fast do they cut and how heavy are they? So you can see I've got a bathroom scale here. We're gonna put them all on and see just how, how heavy they are. When you look at manufacturer's website, they only give you the weight of the power head only without cutting equipment, meaning your bar and chain. And I wanna show you realistically what you could expect the saw to weigh with fuel in it, with bar oil and your bar and chain on there. Uh, these three saws all have a 20 inch bar and chain. The 585 has a 24 inch bar and chain on it, which basically that's your typical standard size that you would normally buy the saw with. Obviously all of these saws will run a bigger or smaller bar, but this is probably the most common configuration you'd see. So let's throw them on the scale and see where they weigh in at. Okay, up first is gonna be the steel MS 400. And that weighs in at about 17.7 pounds. Then we'll do the 562 Husqvarna. 18.7 pounds, so a full pound heavier than the MS 400. This is the 572, weighs about 20 pounds even with full cutting equipment. And I'm curious to see how much the big boy weighs here, the 585. About 22.9 pounds. So there you go. Now you know how fast they cut and how much each saw weighs. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below.